What's up guys, Llama Pen here. When I made my NHL 24 deep dive video prior to the release of the game, I put an emphasis on physics. So how players interact with the puck and how they interact with each other is the single most important fundamental thing that is going to determine if this game's good. The reason the NHL 23 was bad was because these very basic mechanics and physics didn't work well. It felt like too many times in 23, players were rewarded for making bad plays and punished for making good ones. And that was the single biggest problem. When the physics don't match the expectations of the players, the players are not going to have fun. With so many complaints about things like game modes, presentation, glitches, I just wanted to redraw focus to this itch issue, uh, which is in my opinion still the single biggest problem plaguing the NHL series. These other things are important, and I believe 24 is actually an improvement on 23, which isn't saying much, but the game will only ever marginally improve until things like this are dealt with. In most games I play, you'll get minor physics problems every once in a while, Maybe the hitbox is slightly off in a shooter game, or a character falls through the ground, something like that. But in the NHL series, these kinds of physics anomalies are commonplace. So I guess they're really not anomalies at all. They're not surprising, they're expected. Now, I want a game that has all the fancy bells and whistles, cool customization, GM connected, other fun game modes, sure, but frankly, if we get all of those things on our wish list and not physics that works the way it should, then that game's still gonna be bad and no one will care. I think what's really even more embarrassing is that as the NHL scene has tried more and more to gear itself towards competitive and professional leagues and tournaments, the physics of this game have gone drastically downhill. Cool. <laughs> Even if you've played casually, I'm sure you've played really close games against other people who are, you know, of a similar skill level. And a lot of times those close competitive games come down to physics breaking the game and that deciding the game. The idea of playing, let alone watching this game, uh, played competitively sounds like an absolute chore when things like this are constantly happening. When pucks, sticks, and bodies go through other sticks, pucks, and bodies, hits inexplicably have no effect, skaters don't react to slow moving pucks in their vicinity, it just makes for a really flawed hockey game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate this game. This is why I don't play this game. What now, the I will that? try to be sympathetic to EA. Um, because I think there's an inherent problem with attributes and player ratings that contributes to these broken physics. So, for example, something like skating is super simple. I give my player a higher speed rating, they're gonna skate faster. It doesn't really get more simple than that. But when it comes to things like offensive awareness, stick checking, discipline, it becomes a little more complicated and you basically have to break physics to represent a very high or very low yeah. rating. You tripped me! Or what? How did I not get a shot off there? Nine foot poke checks, dude. Bullshit! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? He did not poke me! Like, I think you could have a high defensive awareness rating all. and you know, maybe that helps you when you're reaching out with one hand, you know, you're, you're able to pick off a pass better or something, but having like a low defensive awareness rating shouldn't make the puck go through my stick. Do, do you know what I'm saying here? Come on, dude. That's so annoying. I think what's most frustrating, though, is when you have a high rating in something and you still get broken physics. I don't know how often I'm getting screwed because of attributes versus the game being broken, but this is definitely a thing. So like, for example, what happens when you have, say, an 87 rating in defensive awareness, which is a pretty good defensive awareness rating, and you're in perfect position to intercept the pass, but the person passing it has a 90 passing rating. 
it just feels like a coin toss where my skill matters less than the rating in this Shit. instance. Um, and there's a strong chance that despite my perfect positioning, I I'm gonna get screwed just because of a number. I don't really know how to fix this, to be honest, but I think stripping some of these things back would help. So much of what makes real hockey players good at real hockey can be hard to quantify sometimes. Uh, there used to be an attribute back in the day called poise. Now, nobody actually knew what this meant or what it did, but it was likely just some BS number that if it was high, you'd maybe get some lucky bounces or you'd be better at scoring late in games or something. I don't know. Thankfully, they got rid of this attribute because it made no sense. So we talk a lot about the importance of hockey IQ in real hockey. Could you imagine if there was an attribute called hockey IQ and how annoying that would be? In a way, we kind of already have that with offensive and defensive awareness. Rewarding players for simply having a high rating, even though their actual play on the ice doesn't warrant that reward, is a recipe for disaster, and it's why we have the game that we have. I'd personally like to get rid of any attributes and traits that break physics and randomly reward players who are not making good plays. I'll start with one that's probably going to be pretty controversial, and it's passing. There should be no auto-aim, there should be no auto-sauce, there should be no auto-anything in the game. The same goes for hand-eye, I've been saying this for years and years, but make tipping pucks a skill-based, timing-based button press of some kind and get rid of the hand-eye rating. No one likes this. Face-offs also do not need to be an attribute. My scissors shouldn't lose to your paper just because your rock, paper, scissors rating is higher. Discipline, in my opinion, is another thing that shouldn't be an attribute. You either make a good body or stick check or you don't. Uh, punish or reward me based on that. I think you could also make arguments for offensive and defensive awareness, puck control, and most of the defensive stats as well, but I'm less passionate about those and think they could simply be tweaked uh, to work a little better. I'd also like to see traits like close quarters, all alone, seeing eye, magnetic, tape to tape, and others thrown out or tweaked. Um, all of this aside, there are still just commonplace things outside of attributes and traits that should just never happen no matter what. Goalies shouldn't have pucks warp through their pads. There should always be some kind of result from two guys running into each other at high speeds. I don't care about body checking rating. Pucks should never go through sticks. Goalies shouldn't be reaching through the net to cover pucks. For other stuff though, EA just has to find a better balance and they can't resort to game-breaking physics to represent high or low ratings. The RNG game needs to die. So fucking shitty, dude. But this is just my opinion. I have plenty of them. I know some people would love to just get a rid of traits and all that stuff altogether. Some people maybe think making everything skill-based would make the game too hard or more complicated than it already is. I know EA is trying to go the other direction and make the game more accessible, so that could be a problem. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Dude, I'll take some seams. I'll take a couple seams. Seems, seems I'll take there, seams. Man. Let's start somewhere. I'll be honest, this here is all about positioning. So if you're in the seam, you're going to get the seam. Dude, how it's many people were perfectly positioned on that play where they yeah, scored? Yeah, there's literally two people. How many fucking? There, literally three different fun. plays <laughs> where, they, where the other team made fucking shitty plays and we were perfectly positioned and we we got punished for it. No, absolutely not. This game sucks.